Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the live stream, guys. We are getting ready to make some cold calls for my team in Los Angeles. And uh, I'm not going to make any haste or waste. Let's just get right to it. So in this market, because the price point is so high and it's a very competitive market, we don't get a lot of people answering the phone. So when people answer the phone, I need to make the best of it. That's mindset. The mindset I need to know to be in, right? Yesterday in this campaign, we created a uh, investor buyer lead. Uh, my client Carl is now looking for property, million dollar property, multifamily properties for the buyer. So we created an opportunity that will be uh, some purchases once we find some property for uh, for him. So it's all about making dials, guys. You run into these opportunities if you're, as long as you're making things happen. But you got to stay positive and keep pushing. Hey, you reached Bob at uh, seven one four nine one five six. No thanks, Bob. You've reached the Chris Kelly Foundation. Leave us a name and number, and somebody will get back to you. It's a fifteen million dollar property we're calling on there. No message. No message. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Five, six, two, seven, one, four, nine, nine, one, nine. Message. On to the next. Hello. 
Yes, good morning. I was calling to speak with Donna Burton. Yes, you have a show? Donna Burton. No, sorry. That's definitely not Donna Burton. On to the next. If you guys are just joining the stream, welcome. We're cold calling in Los Angeles. So Pacific Palisades to Pasadena to Glendale, Studio City, Beverly Hills. Average price point's about a million five, two million dollars. Good morning. Jeremy calling from the agency about your property you're selling on Franklin, number 1103. Uh, can you repeat that again? Sorry. I'm calling about your unit on Franklin Avenue that you took off of the market. Are you still looking to get it sold at some point? No, I have it with another broker already. Thank you. Well, before you sign an agreement with that new broker, my broker wanted to... All right, have a good day. Relisted, on to the next. That's what we want, though. That's how we know we're on the right track here. Because we're looking for people that just haven't signed that agreement yet. On to the next. Yes, Manish. Hello. Uh, you guys have the wrong number. I don't have a property in LA. All no, right, I'm man. Off your list. On to the next. Hi, this is Andrea. I'm not available to talk to you right now, so please leave me a message and leave your phone number. We are not looking for an Andrea. I'm looking for a Mrs. Chen. We're gonna dial for about 20 more minutes in this market. soon. I've had this one for about two and a half years. The battery started to get to be where it only still holds charge for like an hour. So the good thing about Chromebooks is you can get a really good one for under 300 bucks and last you a couple years. It makes sense to me. I mean the computer still works, just the battery has been forwarded to an automated it only, hold, only holds charge for so long, right? And I'd like to be able to have a battery that holds for six hours or more at least. for a holly so you guys will notice in the stream there's a link to the group the rookie to relevant realtor resource if you're a real estate agent new old seasoned rookie join the group it's my public coaching group you get a lot of good information there for you guys to help you guys get better um, again I'm not a real estate coach I'm a cold caller and so I also teach you guys to cold call as well 
I teach you to do exactly what I do on a daily basis. I'm not one of those coaches that will say to, to tell, help have you do something that, that I'm not doing. What I teach you is step by step what I do on a daily basis in my call campaigns, from setting up the platform to calling to, uh, to setting the appointment. And then from there, it's up to you to convert those appointments to uh, listings once you get face to face. Sure to let Instagram know that we're going live here. We're making live cold calls on Facebook. There's a link in the bio. Come hang out. Welcome to your wireless carrier's voicemail system. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. This property is a $5 million property. It's pretty awesome calling these properties. They're right off the Sunset Strip, right in you know Beverly Hills and Hollywood. That's the type of properties that we're calling. Obviously, that's why it's so competitive down there because you know they're multi-million dollar properties. making cold calls to properties like this live right now on Facebook Keep on dialing, smiling and dialing. Three point two million in Santa Monica. Call has been forwarded to an automated. 
automatic voice message system. Seven one seven four five one nine five six three is not available. At the top. to an automatic voice message system. Eight five eight four zero one nine six nine seven is not available. You did not get your message either because you were not speaking or because of a bad connection. To disconnect, press one to record your message. Press two. Are you still there to disconnect? Press one. <laughs> no message. My my Wi-Fi is a little bit delayed, which is why I'm not able to hang up quick, quite as quickly as I'd like. Whatever, no big deal. Hi, this is Vinny. After the sign, please leave a message. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. So we're using the three line dialer. Right now there's three lines being called at the same time. When you hear the boo! Nobel Pizza, I can help you. I'm sorry, what did I call? Nobel Pizza, yeah? Okay, wrong number. Still don't understand him, but it's a place of business. We're not calling businesses. Okay. On to the next. Has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Six two six two six two three zero. No message. Has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Hi, this is Jeremy calling about the... Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, I was calling about the uh, property that you were selling. You have the wrong number. Okay. This is a private number. I don't know. On to the next. On to the next one. So the reason why there's so many wrong numbers is because what happens is these systems like Red X they get the in their algorithm the canceled expire or expired listing but then what they do is they automatically scrub tax and title records so and they give us all of the numbers that come up for that property sometimes it's past tenants sometimes it's uh family members uh, sometimes it's just bad information and that's okay because there is enough good information in here to be able to make things happen you just got to expect that there's going to be some bad numbers. It's just part of what we're what, what's what's going to happen. Is this the is this the Ibramin Trust? I'm sorry, who is this? Uh, this is Jeremy Marquez with the agency brokerage. Okay, buddy, this is uh, my mom's house. Uh, I don't know, I'm getting a lot of phone calls today. 
Uh, but I don't know what's going on. I don't want to know what's going on. I don't want to handle this. And respectfully, please stop calling me. Have a good day. Who should I talk to? He just hung up. It's alright. I'll do it next. These Twitch streamers are a little bit uh, shallow. This guy randomly hit me up on Instagram about my Twitch stream, trying to get me to follow him. And then he just started talking some BS, like, I'm going to unfollow him. Let's see. Twitch is a streaming platform, it's mostly for gamers, but now they're also uh, just doing like talk shows and podcasts and things like that. And it's it's actually the number two uh, most trafficked website right now in the world, behind actually number three behind YouTube and Google. Um, and so now business, business people are also starting to stream on, on Twitch. And so, like I'm streaming right now here on Facebook and then posting on Instagram, um, sometimes I'll be streaming on Twitch. Uh, it's going to be good for my coaching and my training as well. What's up, Neil? Um, that's hard to say. You know, it's about the same. You know, they're all about the same, Neil, when it comes to the quality of the data. They all scrub the tax and title records the same. The reason why I like Red X better is because it has the three line dialer. The data is about the same. However, just like with anything, you know, you can convert wrong numbers. Just right now, I'm power dialing, so I don't want to waste too much time with people that don't own the property. But this year, a few deals have been created from asking a simple question. Are you looking to buy or sell anything? And then creating a lead and then following up with them and then helping them buy or sell a property. So a few of those have happened this year and they will happen. But right now I'm just power dialing and trying to speak, trying to, speak to owners. Um, so it can be frustrating, but you can't let it affect your mindset. You just have to keep on dialing. By the way, Neil, I never got your uh, your calendar, your appointment request to talk about the coaching. What happened, man? I'm gonna switch up the uh, the target here. I think I'm gonna pull a. I'm gonna pull a new geo lead list. I'm gonna pull a geo lead list around a, uh, a listing that the brokerage that I'm calling for just closed. Okay, we'll just put it on calendar before it fills up. Thanks for tuning in, by the way, Neil, as always. How are your calls going? You, know, you said you had a decent um, October, so how's your November looking?
Neil, how's your November looking so far? It's the 17th, so how many transactions do you have going this month? I think you did two or three last month, you were saying. Another listing? Good. And you never answered my question. Um, out of those transactions back in October, how many came from prospecting? How many came from, from sphere of influence? How many came from referral? Because I know that you're you're using your dial in and your cold calling. I'm just wondering, you know, out of all of those, where your transactions came from and the listing you got this month, where did that come from? And congratulations, by the way. It sounds like you're closing out 2020 pretty strong. In your in your market, you don't need you know two or three or four transactions in a month, and you're solid. You know, average price point seven hundred thousand million dollars, one point five, right? You only need a few compared to some markets. You need four to six, and you need two to three in your market based on that price point. You know, depending on where you want to be, but you're doing okay when you're doing one to three. As you know, I mean, you're the one out there, but I'm just letting letting it be known from for everybody else as a whole that's watching this. You know, when I start selling property, you know, I'll be in, a, I'll probably be in a mid-range market, three to five hundred thousand, and I'd be okay doing like three to five deals. A you know, of course, it'd be nice to do more, but three to five is, you know, ideal. You're doing thirty to fifty a year, you're good until you build out a team and just go stronger, right? I'm gonna start calling around a, um, a listing in Pasadena that this brokerage recently closed. Yeah, in Pasadena, there's been five sales this year, over a million dollars, and four of them were closed by the brokerage that I'm calling for, the agency. So that's pretty. They're pretty. They have a real strong presence within the luxury market down there. Pull some geo leads and do some just sold calls here. This one's is a referral for listings now, others for prospecting. Good, man. I mean, that's what it's about. You know, when you prospect enough, then you start getting the referrals and you can prospect less. I'm trying to pull a geo lead list around this $1.9 million listing that they recently sold. I guess if, if, if Red X isn't liking the address, let me pull a different one. Okay, there we go. This one's going to be right over by the Rose Bowl. Neil, do you sell property in Pasadena?
and then got the got the leads. Now I'm ready to just go ahead and load the dialer up, and we'll get we'll start making some just sold calls. Got 95 numbers to dial, 44 leads. Welcome to Wave. message for Ernie Cruz. Hey Ernie, this is Jeremy calling you from the agency. Giving you a quick call because we recently sold your neighbor's property across the street, 772. Wanted to give you a call to see if there's anything we can do to help you. Again, my name is Jeremy. I work for Carl Markarian here at the agency. And uh, if you can give me a call or send me a text message with a better time to give you a call. I had a couple of questions. 818-538-9015. Okay. On to the next. This one sold. Telephone number six two six seven nine three six five zero four. Can't take your call right now. Please record. This one sold for one point nine, and it was listed with the same broker as just a different um, agent. So I'm just calling all of the neighbors to see if there's anything that we can do to help them now or in the future. This is a database building opportunity. So these are called just sold prospecting calls. Please leave a message after the tone. Hi, Richard. Hello. Yep. Jeremy with uh, Carl Markarian's office here at the agency. What's the agency? Uh, we're the brokerage that uh, just sold your neighbor's property down the street, calling to see if there's anything we can do to help you. I need you to help me. Thanks for the call. All right. Have a good day. I think he's an agent. Hi, this is Jeremy calling from the agency, the brokerage that just sold the house down the street from you guys, 772 Linda Vista. Say it again, I don't know who are you. 
Uh, do you still live on Linda Vista? Yeah. Okay. Well, I work for the the agency. We're a real estate brokerage. We sold your neighbor's house at 772. And so I was just calling to see if there's anything we can do to help you. Oh. Yeah, you sell that one? Yeah. I, I bring the buyer, but if I directly from you guys, I'm a, I'm a broker too. Thank you. Oh, you are. Okay. Who do you work with? Uh, Cornwall Banker George Realty. Okay, yeah, we sold 772, so I was just calling to see if there's anything we can do to help you, but I assume you probably have that covered if you're a broker, huh? Yeah, how much do you sell? Uh, it sold for uh, 1.995. Oh, really? Good price. Hmm. Anyway, very good. Right. So what do you see in the future? What do you see in the future of the realty? I uh, see there's going to be a bunch of foreclosures coming up. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> they locked. Yeah, everybody, have, everybody's in for, closer. everybody's in forbearance, and then you know when that they come due, they're they're going to you know not everybody's going to be able to cover it. Yeah, because uh, so so many poor people. I don't know. I feel sorry for them, but anyway. Yeah. Well. Okay, you and and so because of that, you know, the inventories, there's going to be more inventory. And so it's going to shift to a buyer's market and, you know, just going to change for a little while. And, you know, just it always changes. You know how it goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you and me will have a lot of business then. Yeah, we just got to change way of doing business, you know. Yeah. Okay. Well, have a oh, great day. Hey, some, let me tell you something. Yeah. I don't know it's true. I hope you have some information. They say COVID 21, COVID 21 is coming around the corner, February to June. That is much, much worse, uh, germ. Much, much worse. Kill more people. And then they're going to lock down everybody again. Okay. Yeah. COVID 21. Could be. You believe it? You believe it? And then I don't know what will happen at that time. Well, well, things are always changing, you know, and we just got to be able to ch transition and change with it, you know? Yeah. No matter what, we need to trust Jesus. Trust God. I'm a uh, Christian. I hope, I hope you can, you're a Christian, too. Anyway. Well, have a great day. Okay. Good luck. And have a good day, too, to you. Bye. Okay, bye. Nice lady. She's a broker herself. Let's work. She lived across. She lives across the street, but down the road a little bit. Literally, this street that I'm calling on is like. The back of the street, that's where the Rose Bowl is. You know where they play football, USC plays? So it's literally, you can throw a rock over to the Rose Bowl. Well, maybe you can. I don't know if I can. I can kick a soccer ball that far. Hi, you reach the cell phone at Bob Bound. I'm unavailable right now, but if you leave your name, number, and the time you call, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages at this time. Goodbye. You know, one thing I'm noticing is that, okay, maybe with the expireds and the for sale by owners in this market with the Red X, the numbers aren't always accurate, but the geo leads, these are on point. Like these people that I'm calling, this is their number. And so that's, that's good information. That's good to know. Just a matter of getting them on. Hello. Yes. This is Jeremy over at the agency calling about your property over on, uh, Linda, Linda Vista. Oh, I haven't lived there in seven years. Oh, your old property. My bad. Uh, so you don't own it anymore. Correct. Okay. Well, I guess uh, it wouldn't be relevant information that we sold your neighbor's house if you don't live in the area anymore. Correct. All right. Have a good day.
Should have took that as an opportunity to ask him if he's going to be doing anything, if he still lives in the area, but that's okay. On to the next. See, my screen, I couldn't see the street, so it kind of threw me off guard because my Wi-Fi is a little bit slow today. That's all right. On to the next. Hi, you reached Pablo Bella. Please leave your name and phone number, and I'll give you a call back as soon as possible. I'm going to call for a few more moments, then I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to grab a bite to eat. i got to run into a meeting here shortly. The number you have reached is not in service. Please check the number and dial again. S.B. Neil, remind me, are you using, I think you told me you're using Red X, right? Or you're using Vulcan? Or do you use Mojo? Hey Marshall, Jeremy calling you from the agency. Giving you a call because we recently uh, sold your neighbor's property at 772 Linda Vista. Sold for 1.9. Wanted to give you a call to see if there's anything that we can do to help you. Again, my name is Jeremy calling you from Carl Markarian's office here at the agency real estate brokerage. Uh, my number is 818-538-9015. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Guys, I do have to wrap up this live session. So for those of you that have tuned in, thank you. Neil, thank you. Anybody else who was in here that was just voyeuring, thank you. Um, I'm Jeremy Marquez with J Marketing. Uh, this service that you're watching is called We Call You Close. I also offer training and coaching. That is my power prospecting program. So for those of you that are interested, there's uh, links in the stream. And also join my group, the uh, Rookie to Relevant Realtor Resource. That's my public group for my coaching. Some great stuff there to help you guys get better with your prospecting. If there's anything I can do to help, feel free to reach out. I'm Jeremy Marquez, J Marketing. I call, you close. Have a great day.